before this video begins, I'm going to drop a disclaimer. Hey everyone, today I'm introducing a program called Fiti. It is used to create REDs, so it functions similarly to a stub. When I analyze its network's traffic, I found that it sends a GET request to an AP to retrieve the IP address and then it sends to a disk or web hook. I then reverse engineered the program, which was obfuscated using Confuser X. After using a Confuser X compiler, I discovered that the program sends a GET request to pull all license keys. I attempted to log in, monitor the network traffic, and then I found a link to the database. By entering the owner's username, I was able to retrieve their password and log in as an admin. Oh my god! Wow! However, notice that when users log in, their IP address and desktop name are sent to the Discord webhook, which means the owner is monitoring admin activities. <laughs> So then I tested creating my own red on a virtual machine and found it could perform actions like grabbing Discord tokens, IP addresses, webcam feeds, geolocation, PC info, and executing custom commands. But every action sends a detail back to a Discord webhook. So after I knew what's going on, I just nuked the webhook and just deleted it and just fucked them. Sometimes bad things happen to good people. When those bad things happen, what are you going to do? No matter how bad things get, remember not to stop, remember not to pause, remember not to hesitate, remember to put one foot in front of the other. Take that first step. And we will fight. Stop it. 